hopefully at some point we will look back and wish that more people had given up a bit of time to um, stand up for those who had no rights. I mean, we look back at those who helped abolish the slave trade and we are so grateful for them that they stood up for people who weren't considered equal human beings. And I think sometime in the future, people will think the same about those who helped abolish abortion. So we're going um, to stand outside um, a Mary Stopes abortion centre. Um, this is quite a, a busy abortion clinic. So yes, here we are. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Pray for the women who are who have an appointment scheduled for that day, for the women who are in the abortion clinic, um, for the staff who are there, and for any passers-by that we might encounter. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt very strongly about pro-life issues. I, I suppose um, injustice is something that fires a lot of people up, and I feel that this is one of the greatest injustices that there is, um, that people um, are treated as though they are not even human beings, um, that they are denied the right to life. I know one of the first times I went to the abortion clinic, um, as part of the 40 Days for Life, there was a woman walking past on the other side of the road, a young woman, I think she was 19 years old, and she just stopped and she said to me, why weren't you here last week? If you'd been here last week, I wouldn't have had my abortion. And that just really, really touched my heart and it just made me think, you know, I am where I'm supposed to be because this is just what we need to be doing. It's just for women like that that we need to be here. I think it would be um, a waste of time us being outside the abortion clinic if we weren't going to provide real alternatives to women. We're very much there for women after they've had abortions as well. Um, we're not there in the spirit of judgement or anger. Um, we're there to help women find alternatives, but if they've had an abortion, we want them to find peace. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. May the grace of this mystery come down into our souls. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. At times I do feel um, misunderstood, feeling part of the pro-life movement. Sometimes. Um, we are portrayed as being um, judgmental towards women, um, which is so far from the truth. I don't judge any woman who has an abortion. I might judge the, um, the act of having an abortion is wrong, but I don't judge that individual who's made that choice. I think a lot of people, when they hear of the word protest, they imagine people um, standing outside the abortion clinic, maybe shouting, maybe holding um, placards that might say, you know, things like murderer or something on them. <sighs> I would, I would hate to be part of a movement like that. I would find that quite shocking. Love has got to be at the centre of it. Only God knows whether I will always do this or not. If, if abortion is legal and if there are women seeking abortions, I will always be there trying to help them find alternatives. <laughs>